Welcome to episode twelve forty seven. Pang Su Tong, the world record for nine lessons. This is an outline of episode twelve forty seven. Lesson one to five. This is lesson six to nine. Lesson one. He holds the world record of losing twelve billion dollars in six years. That is between twenty sixteen and twenty twenty one. It's a record no one will be envious. Lesson two, he holds another world record of the tallest ghost tower in the world. The building is called Golden One One Seven or Tianjin Tower. Holds the record for the world's tallest abandoned building. Initial construction started in 2007, but was halted in 2010 due to the Great Recession. Construction work resumed at the beginning of 2011, but was re-paused again after topping out in 2016. No visible progress has been made, and the abandoned building currently towers over the city of Tianjin like a ghost. Lesson three: He was an orphan and a rotten student. Guangdong, China, in China, 1963. His father died when he was an infant. He was raised by his grandmother, who spoiled him rotten. Grandma died, and he was shipped to California, United States, 1976. Was 13 years old. Was a rotten student who never graduated from high school or learned enough English to survive. Lesson four: His first job was a chauffeur. In 1984, at the age of 21, he returned to Hong Kong. His first job was as a chauffeur. Lesson five is an expert in transformation. Transformation one from trading to manufacturing. He made his first fortune. He started trading with electronic brands like Panasonic in the 1980s. Early 1990, he correctly saw the trend of outsourcing in southern China. 1993, he founded Matsunichi. The main business of which is the manufacturing of home appliances. Lesson six: Transformation two, from manufacturing to real estate. 2002, he bought a Hong Kong listed company, Emperor Technology, and had it renamed as Matsunichi. And in September 2008, this company was renamed as. Golden Properties. Golden Properties became the largest real estate developer in Tianjin, China. Lesson seven: How he promoted himself through sports and luxury. Sports he promotes are horse polo in China and horse racing in Hong Kong. This is the same strategy employed by another Chinese real estate tycoon. Yu Ka Yan also promotes his company Evergrande by owning Guangzhou Evergrande soccer team. Please watch episode seventy nine of this channel. As an aid, what he got right: China is the factory of the world. He was right. He made a huge fortune in a short period of time through outsourcing. As an aid, what he got wrong. China as the world's market. In the second part, he said China will be the market of the world, and he was wrong. All the big ticket luxury items, central center of the world, did not materialize. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.